12 graham crackers broken into pieces into a food processor. Process until finely browned, about 30 seconds. Add two tablespoons of sugar and half a teaspoon of salt. Pulse until combined. Add six tablespoons of melted butter and pulse until combined. Empty the crumbs into a pie plate. Using the bottom of a measuring cup, press the crumbs into the bottom and up the sides of the pie plate. Then bake the crust in a 325 degree oven for 17 minutes. Meanwhile, start making the brownie layer. Chop 6 ounces of bittersweet chocolate. Add 5 tablespoons of vegetable oil, 4 tablespoons of unsalted butter, and 2 tablespoons of cocoa powder. Microwave on 50% power until melted, about 2 minutes, stirring every 30 seconds. Let it cool for 5 minutes. Then add 1 cup of brown sugar, 3 eggs, 1 tablespoon of vanilla, and half a teaspoon of salt. Whisk to combine. Add a quarter cup of flour and whisk to combine again. Pour the brownie batter into the crust bake until the edge of the brownie begins to set, about 40 minutes. Meanwhile, make the fudge layer. Chop 4 ounces of milk chocolate and add it to a bowl. Add a third a cup heavy cream and 2 tablespoons of light corn syrup. Microwave it on 50% power until fully melted, about 90 seconds, stirring halfway through. Let the fudge cool for 30 minutes. Pour the cooled fudge over the brownie layer and let it set completely at room temperature, at least three hours. To make the meringue, add three quarters cup of sugar to the bowl of a stand mixer. Add three egg whites, half teaspoon of vanilla, and a quarter teaspoon of cream of tartar. Whisk to combine. Then add the pinch of salt you forgot before. Bring an inch of water to a simmer. Place the bowl over it and whisk gently and constantly until the mixture is 165 degrees, about four minutes. Back at the stand mixer, whip on high speed until stiff peaks form, about three minutes. Spread the meringue across the top of the pie. Use a kitchen torch to brown the top of the meringue or just put it under the broiler in your oven and take a bite of the best s'more you've ever made.